mapping out the flow and effects of a particular server rack going down could be a task that takes hours, leading to your core services your employees rely on going down as well, and an influx of tickets your service desk cannot handle being raised. Taking a proactive approach to this scenario with Insight is a no-brainer. Let dependency functionality do this work for you, mapping out the flow and effects in a graph or tree form to conceptualize the true impacts of different IT scenarios. This is what this real life example is all about. A BAS, our system administrator, has been alerted by a text of a system outage. The authentication database has stopped. A BAS, being new to the company, isn't sure what services the authentication database relies on such as virtual machines, or the IP to access the database. A BAS is visualizing these key dependencies in a tree and graph form to help narrow down the potential cause. That was the tree form we just saw, and now this is the graph form. So you can see the connections between your assets. Whilst a BAS is busy getting to the bottom of this problem, Insight is gonna take care of notifying the right stakeholders that rely on this core service. Christina, is a Confluence site experience lead. Confluence heavily relies on the authentication database for sign-in. With this database being down, it is essential that Christina is kept in the loop. Keeping Christina and various other business stakeholders in the loop can be achieved with ease through Insight. Insight's automation has gone ahead and created a ticket for all business owners of products with a primary relationship. As Confluence has a primary relationship, to the authentication database, Christina is one of these business owners who has received a ticket. Looping Christina in with the BAS to get the most up-to-date information directly to her. I'll give you a sneak peek of the back end um, of Insight, which is the, we're looking currently at the Insight Automation Engine. It follows a when if then process. So similar to if this then that, for those that have used it. In this example, when an object is updated, if that particular object has a status of stopped, then a ticket will be created looping in all business owners, which is what we just saw before. So when the authentication database was stopped, the object was updated because that stop status was set and then a jury issue looping in Christina was created. A BAS being a whiz quickly resolves the issue. As you can see, the authentication database now reflects as up. The next step for a BAS will be closing off the tickets raised, both via automation and via users. To do this, a BAS will simply click view tickets under the connected issues section. This section shows tickets with an inbound relationship to the authentication database, meaning tickets where the database has been selected. Finding and notifying business stakers shouldn't be a BAS's priority, and with Insight, it simply isn't nor should looking up how a particular database relates to your IT systems. The database being down is a BAS's problem, and with Insight, it allows him to focus on this and block out the noise.